Okay, I've set my uh, vehicle aside for a second. Um, we've worked through a couple of really challenging steps. Um, now our next step is actually not too bad. Um, we're gonna attach this other piece of the straw. If you remember, we cut that straw into uh, three pieces before. We're gonna attach that other piece of the straw to my motor mount. Um, and this is a pretty easy process. Um, you're just gonna basically lay some tape on the top of it, um, get it taped in there. Make sure that it's held down pretty securely. I'm gonna use a few pieces of tape um, and uh, just make sure that, it, um, that it's gonna hold down. There is gonna be some pressure um, on that part of the car. Um, so I just wanna tape and secure down that, um, that motor mount. Um, and then we're going to need to create another straight end from a paper clip. I'm gonna use a, a third small paper clip um, and I'm gonna create a, uh, a straight end. Now in this case, you can again uh, play with and uh, uh, the design of your experiment, but I am going to leave that last hook actually there. Um, I'm gonna um, leave that part just like it like it was hooked already. Uh, and that's going to allow me to attach my rubber band there. There are other ways to do that. And if you want to make this longer, you can pull it out and make a smaller hook and all of those different things. I'm just for simplicity of our video gonna leave that. Um, that's gonna be where our hook goes. Just like the axles, you wanna make this part of your car as straight as you possibly can. Um, because it will be spinning um, and so you want to make sure that that part um, is controlled. So that's going to be our, uh, our motor mount portion of things.